In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change your color font theme in Android Studio. Welcome to Mobile Applications Tutorial. My name's Nigel. I had a comment in my YouTube channel asking how do I change the theme in Android Studio so I'm just putting together a quick tutorial to show you how to do that but just let me go into the Android Studio preferences first just to show you where these things get set it's not totally intuitive well I don't think it is so I'm in the preferences here we've got two sections here one's for the editor tab and one's the appearance behavior so if we go into appearance and behavior let me just drop this down we've got appearance and as you can see here it's what Android Studio calls a theme and you've got two default which is like a light theme or the dark yellow theme that I use so I've got it set to dark yellow that's fine and dandy but um, you can't actually well I don't know of how you to do it from here you can't actually install other themes but what you can do is you can install color fonts which is basically the same as a theme so let's go to editor here and drop that down and notice you've got colors and fonts and in Android and in, in Android Studio they call this the scheme and you'll probably recognize some of these names you've got Zenburn, Solaris, Relax Your Eyes, Ladies Night so in here we can actually install a scheme which is like a theme and so we can install a, a, a scheme here and enable it as such. So for here, I'm using Ladies Night 2. The 15 is just the font size because I like using bigger fonts so people can see it easier on my um, videos. Anyway, so what we're going to do is install a new scheme. Okay, so the next step is to download a color scheme or a theme. So if you look here, you've got... Um, I just done a search of Android Studio themes and what have we got? Fourth one down, we've got this color themes website. Let's go to that. And Ladies Night seems to be popular, 292,000 downloads. So we've got a bunch of other things. I want to install a dark theme that I haven't already installed. You're probably shouting at me, install this, install that. But I like the look of wombats and I like wombats so I'm gonna download the wombat thing okay so um, I think we'll be supported it doesn't say so here but IDA WebStorm a, a lot of these PHP storm they're all built by the same company so click download okay so we've now downloaded that uh, I hope <laughs> So the next stage here is to go into Android Studio, go into File, and go into Import Settings. Now, this will be in my Download section. And up the top here, we have the Wombat Jar. So I'm just going to double click on that. And it's telling me to import all the color editor colors, which is good. I feel good about that. Select OK. And now we need to restart Android Studio. Open up the same project. Okay, I still think I'm using the Ladies Night theme, so let's go back into our preferences and we go into colors and fonts here. I'm saying it's default. And let's see if we can find that wombat, was it? And it doesn't seem to be there, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close down my Android Studio and start that back up again. Here we are. Reload the project again. So it has changed my theme, but I don't want this one. 
So I'll go into preferences setting here and search for Wombat, then select OK. And we've now switched to the Wombat theme. So I don't really like this one. I want to go back to Ladies' Night, night so I can go back to my preferences and select on down and ladies this is the one i like slightly larger text and select ok and i'm back to my original theme so those are the steps that are involved on changing your color scheme in android studio or you can think of it as a theme so yeah that's it for this one um, if you want to keep up to date with all the tutorials i'm working on click on that subscribe button down below and surrounding me is all my social media accounts. So uh, there's a, a lot of stuff that happens in the world of mobile application tutorials. Um, I, I announced that when I upload code to GitHub, a code that's applicable to a relative tutorial. I also um, announce code fixes when I'm releasing full articles and the videos, of course, when they get published on YouTube. So all that stuff happens on these social media accounts so you can keep up to date with what I'm working on anytime just by following me on these social media accounts. And don't forget directly above me is a link to my website. Probably the best place to watch the uh, videos actually because not only do you have the video, you've got the information on how to get the code from GitHub and you've also got information um, describing the code changes I make as well. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.